Welcome to my channel Heart Meet Spirit. This channel is intended to support you improving and changing your life. Live a life of love, trust and confidence. Enjoy. Anxiety is doing this, living in survival. When you're living in survival, I'll tell you this, when the survival gene is activated, out of the infinite potentials in the quantum field, you'll always choose the worst case scenario. Why? Because if you're in survival and you're preparing for the worst, there's always better chances of surviving if anything less happens. So people are always selecting the worst thing in their mind and they begin to emotionally embrace that future oh before gosh. it happens. Thought and emotion, you start conditioning. So you're conditioning the body to become the mind of fear. You keep doing that enough times, once the body becomes the mind, it's a subconscious program. The person has a panic attack. Try as you may to control it with your conscious mind. You can't, you programmed it subconsciously. Now you worry about the next panic attack and now as you start worrying about the next panic attack, it's the vigilance that creates the next one. Wow. Now here's what's happening in our work. People who are self-regulating and creating these elevated states, we have, we have heart scans of them sustaining heart coherence for a whole hour during a meditation. Then at the end of the day, they're still wearing the, the monitor it's eight o'clock at night, they're not even in a meditation, and for a whole entire hour they're in heart coherence. We say to the woman, uh, what's going on here? She said, I, I have no idea, I was just getting ready for bed and all of a sudden my heart just swelled up, it was so intense I had to lay on my back and surrender to love wow. instead of surrendering to fear. She had a spontaneous love attack instead of a spontaneous panic attack. Now, wow. I would call that the natural state of being. So then. If you're living by those elevated states and you know how to feel that emotion of your future before it happens, you're less likely to wait for it to happen because you'll feel like it already happened. You're less likely to try to control it. You'll know that the moment you lose the feeling, you just disconnect it and you're gonna make your way back. And when you get good at it, no person, no thing, no experience can take it away from you. Wow. And now you're empowered. And if you understand the laws of how creation happens, then you're less likely to compete and rush to get what you want. You're gonna know that it's gonna to come to you. And now that's the new model of how do we create. Knowing it's gonna to come to us at the right time, what if we want it faster? No, you just do it again. Mm. But remember, if you're trying to make it happen faster, you're back to the old self. Right. The new self would never do that. The new self would con constantly stay there. And so then how does it appear? It appears in a way that you can't expect. Because if you can predict it, it's the known. It's gonna come in a way that you haven't thought of, an unknown. And it's, and it's gotta rock your world. It's gotta catch mm. you off guard. It's gotta leave you no doubt that what you've been doing inside of you that produces some effect outside of you. And when you correlate what you've been doing inside of you with the effect that produ you produced outside of you, you're gonna pay attention to what you did and do it again. And the energy of the joy that you feel when it happens, mm. you're gonna use that energy to create again. Now, people say to me, well, I'm this way because of that person and that thing. I would say to them, so you mean then that person or that experience out there is controlling your thoughts and feelings? Wow. <gasps> that means you're a victim to your environment. But when you start changing your thoughts and feelings and it starts to produce an effect in your environment, you're gonna change the belief that you're a victim consciously or subconsciously of your life to becoming more of a creator of your life. Mm. And now all of a sudden when you become more a creator of your life, you can't blame anybody. You can't say, well, that person or that thing, you'd have to say, I gotta be greater than that environmental right. condition. Who in history can I study that had the same challenges? What, what, was, what, what did they do? Let me just work that into my rehearsal so that I can improve, right? Just like you've right. done with sports, it's the right. same process. Yeah. So it turns out that the signature of the quantum field is greater and greater degrees of oneness and wholeness, right? So think about it. Um, when we live in stress, we live in separation, right? Because our senses fool us into believing you're there and I'm here and everybody is separate from us and everything is separate from us. That's 3D reality, right? right. But as you start opening the center, all of a sudden, when you become nobody, no one, no thing, nowhere and no time, right? That's the moment that your consciousness lines up with the consciousness of the field. That's when you are totally present. Now, here's the deal. If I can get people to believe that just because they can't see something doesn't mean it doesn't exist, if they can just connect and pay attention to that field and stay present with it and become more aware of it, moment after moment after moment, every interaction with that invisible field, every experience lays down new circuits in their brain for them to perceive more of it, right? Mm -hmm. 
So then as they keep their attention on it, they start moving closer and closer to it. So they experience less separation and more oneness and wholeness. Mm -hmm. So then when that happens, there's a cascade of all kinds of physical and chemical and energetic things that begin to happen. So for me, the, the best way that I can describe that field is it's intelligent love. It's greater levels of order and unity and oneness. And when you strike it and you hit it, it is the most incredibly electric feeling you will ever mm. have. It is the most familiar, unfamiliar feeling huh. you will ever have. You will swear that you are ancient in that moment and you will connect. And it won't be just like love for your puppy. You will feel it in every single cell of your body. And I mean like a, a vibration, a, a coherence, where your body becomes electric. And the only way we can describe that is love. You, 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 you yeah. taste that one time. You want it and all the time. Okay, here's what I say. I always say, the first time it happens, the, the first time it happened to me, and every time since, when I come back to my senses, I always say the same thing. Joe Dispenza, you got this all wrong. Because some veneer, some conditioning is lifted. You start realizing that the way you think life is, isn't that way. So now, when I've had those moments, Lewis, I have said, there cannot be any more love than this until the next experience. Until the next time. I mean, how <laughs> much is there, right? I mean, wow. you, how, you're, you get super humbled. You when get, was the last time? Ooh, about, uh, well, about uh, five days ago, yeah. What yeah, was the I, moment? Oh, I just had a very profound mystical experience. <laughs> I was, uh, I'll, t I'll tell you the short story. And how often does it happen also? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I live for them. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you try to do it every month if I, you can? Or no, I, 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 weekly, I, I just do the meditations. And, uh, and then when they happen, I'm, if I'm just in the right place and I don't have a plane to catch or an email to answer and I have a little laxity and I can kind of surrender into the moment, I just... Um, I had this incredible, uh, I don't know how to describe this, but uh, they, uh, there was a geometric pattern, like mandala, I don't know what it was, and it moved right through my entire body, and it was like uh, working with me, with my physical body, and wow. if I could surrender to it, it was just incredible bliss, I mean incredible incredible bliss I mean I don't know how to describe it and wow. and and when that occurs uh, when it happened to me I had this my heart was just lit up like it was it was a it was an experience it wasn't a physical experience you know it was a, it was from within and here's the weird thing every time it happens my heart feels alive like it lasts for days like the emotion wow. from the experience Last for day. And Residual, people are like, yeah. uh, what's up with you? Like, what, what? and you're just kind oh, of so this, joyful. Constantly. You got this big smile on your face. I just am so happy to be alive. Wow. Right? And so I think that <laughs> independent of, listen, I now know, I mean, we've measured genetic changes, hormonal changes, neurotransmitter changes. We've measured immune system responses by trading fear mm -hmm. for gratitude. We've measured gene expressions. We now know that people can uh, signal the gene to, to, for, to reduce cancer and tumors, to signal the gene to grow new neurons. We've measured this. Signal the gene for, uh, for stem cells to go to damaged tissues and repair them oxidative stress gene signal we, we've we've seen that in our in our students now right. here's the deal after all of those studies in the last six years you can't tell me you're too old to do this work can't tell me that we got people in their 80s doing miraculous things you can't tell me you're too sick to do this work we got people that were at the end of their life stage four and we turn that battleship around wow. you can't tell me that you had too turbulent of a past to do this for people that were really rough paths that are now free. You can't tell me uh, you're not, you've are not. you never meditated before. We have people who have never meditated before the most profound mystical experience. Wow. You, you can't tell me you're too overweight, too underweight, too out of shape, too in shape. You can't tell me that anymore because all colors, all races, everybody can do it. That's the cool part about it. And when you get a community of people together uh, and you move them from one state of mind to another, there's this moment mm. And I can almost predict when it happens, the second or third day, where people just start hooking up. And then when they start hooking up, you know, we start, we're seeing now in our events. I mean, a lady that was blind from birth, 5% vision, by the end of the event was seeing. 
I mean, wow. how do you explain that? We had three people in the last two uh, events that were deaf that are hearing now. Wow. People with crutches that were limited or walking without crutches and canes, spinal cord injuries, I mean, Parkinson's disease, in, in a week. Like, um, that's got to be, like, wow. a, it doesn't, doesn't wake you up to what's possible. And you're witnessing a tumor on a woman's thyroid that was there at the beginning of the event is gone at the end of the event. I mean, wow. like, you, you got to scratch your head and just go, wow, the reality isn't at all the way I think it is, right? And so there's this humility that comes, like, well, I don't know anything. Mm -hmm. but I'm willing to go down, push the envelope a little bit more. So we're only as good as our ability to execute this, right? But as we get better consistency at Consistency of it too, yeah. Consist I'm all about consistency, and I'm, I'm be the first guy to say, do the blood test, do the scan, let's do the test to make sure that it's just not in your mind, it's in your brain, yeah. let's know. So, so, now, so now the evidence then supports it, the, the, the testimonials support it, and all of a sudden people now are beginning to wake up uh, mm. to what's possible, and just like the four minute mile. The four minute mile was broken, once right. it was broken, the, the, we pierced everyone the veil, did and, everyone right. did it. So we're just seeing now the same thing, we've pier pierced the veil, and people are just just all in. It's, they're not 50% in, they're all in, and by goodness we're creating this kind of wake and momentum, but not wow. just for healing. But for creating new jobs and new relationships, new sure. opportunities, abundance, everything, yeah. whatever it is that they want. For, people come, people come to the work for all kinds of reasons, sure. and I don't really care. But by the time they start doing the work, all they really want to do is give. Because mm -hmm. when you feel so amazing and feel so great about yourself that you no longer want anything, the first thing you want to do is give. I mean, when we see that brain scan moving into coherence and those two hemispheres come together, and all of a sudden we see that heart just start going. Boom, boom, very orderly. And see so the more energy going in the brain, the brain goes into super coherence. You can walk around and look at that person who's getting the brain scan, and there are tears of joy rolling down her face. She's feeling so whole that it's impossible to want. How can you want when you're whole? Mm. And now you feel like you already you don't need anything. You, you feel like you have it already. That's the moment mm. the magic happens. So she's no longer creating from lack and duality and separation. Scarcity, yeah. The scarcity. She's feeling like it already happened. That's that's a very profound signal in the field. That's dropping a big stone in the water and it's producing some big waves. And things are starting to manifest. She's you're attracting she's synchronicity. Right. Everything. Yeah. yeah, now she's drawing it to her. So then, so then if you're doing that to answer the original question is that then if you keep practicing that, then you got to get up and maintain that modified state of mind and body your entire day. And it's just a practice. And as you do that and you start seeing all the fun things happening, it's not like, oh, I gotta go create my life today. Right. You're like, you're like, I gotta go. Because right. I don't want the magic to stop. Mm -hmm. So I just do it because I love the crazy, magical, wonderful things that happen that, that I would just, just never anticipate in my mm -hmm. life. And so people are catching on to it and they start coming for one reason, you know, they're, they want money or they want uh, health. Sure. Or, but it's not about your money. It's not about your health. It's not about your new relationship. It's not even about the mystical moment. It's about who you become in the process because overcoming all those limitations mm -hmm. to become somebody else, nobody can take that away from you. Wow.